Hey there, Kate from Purely Paperless, and I'm going to show you how to create your own note template in Custom Note. So once you've gone through and you've browsed the public templates and maybe you didn't find exactly what you're looking for, um, you can go ahead and create your own note template. It's really easy. So in your launch screen here, you'll have an option to create a new template. So I'm going to go ahead and click that option to launch the um, template. So we're going to call this writing sample. Uh, this will be in education and for my personal use, I might just call, uh, say writing sample from students. Um, you can select if you have a folder just for writing samples. I prefer to keep it a little more organized and so I would want this to go into a specific child's folder. So I'm going to pick a note at creation um, and tags that will apply to all of the notes that I create using this template. So um, just to make it easier to find when you search, I might include writing sample, um, assessment, documentation, um, those are all tags that I might use to search for this particular note. Um, now I want to also include in the note title, um, writing samples. I don't want to worry about making this public. That just adds it to the gallery for everyone to use. And at this point, I'm not going to do that. You can select an icon for your particular note and they provide you with a few different note themes and colors. So um, I kind of like this one right here. Um, I'm going to make my writing purple. And now down here, this is very similar to the way that you would create like a Google template or Google form. Um, you're just going to add in the text that you want in your note. So for example, my title is going to be right, or um, I want to start with the student name. Now, um, this is going to be one line text and you can write in the child's name or if you want, um, I like to make this a multiple choice, and I'm just going to enter in, at the time I create this note, all of the students in my class. And the reason for that is um, I can go ahead and I can just make these checkboxes. So when I go to input the data, um, it's just as easy as typing in or checking off a box versus typing everything in. So I have student name, I have type of writing, and again, I want to make this multiple choice um, and I might say either informational, I might say that this is narrative or perhaps it's persuasive, which aligns with my common core standards. Again, I want that required and I do want to use that in the note tagging and um, the tagging and the title. Uh, finally, I might select the rubric score. This is just going to be um, a number input. Our rubric for our district is just a one, two, or three. So I don't really need that in the title, but I do want it to be required. And finally, I might include some additional notes about the child's progress. So when I do that, because it's likely that it's going to be very long or not necessarily long, but I'll be including more data, um, I want that to be multiple line text. Uh, that is also going to be required. And the last thing I want to include is the date. Um, so I'm going to select date and that will just make it easier. It pulls up a calendar for me um, when I am actually inputting this. So I'm going to save my template here and you can see that now um, I have my template and it's ready to be used. So I'll show you really quickly what it's like to use one of these. And as you can see now, because I made those multiple choice, um, you can see that I can just select the name of the student, the type of the writing. Um, I have my rubric score, so we'll say Kate. Um, this was informational text. She got a three. Um, fantastic use of punctuation and grammar. Typing needs work. <laughs> so under date, I can just go ahead and select the date on the calendar from this particular work sample. Um, I'm not going to worry about the sending reminders, although that is very handy. So um, just to make this easier for me, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to send this to the notebook class data and I'm going to hit create note. 
So once I've done this, it's going to route directly to my Evernote notebook. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I am going to launch my Evernote notebook here. And you can see that when it loads, it will add that particular note right into my notebook labeled class data. And here is my note. So um, you can see it's Kate, informational text three. And what I love is that now at the bottom, I can go ahead and I can just snap a picture through this particular note of the work sample. And now I have a quick um, snapshot of the child's work, some anecdotal notes, a rubric score, and it is saved in the event that um, I need to find it again.